Welcome to this new Lightroom editing lesson. This one is about face contouring, basically enhancing different parts of a person's face, such as their cheekbones, to make them a little bit more pronounced. We're going to be doing what's typically called dodging and burning. Basically, you would use that sort of technique in Photoshop, but we can also do it here in Lightroom to basically enhance the highlights and the shadows that naturally occur in someone's face. So let me just show you what I'm actually going to be doing and what I'm actually talking about. So I'm really quickly going to drop my exposure just to show you. See how in this image, if you wanna follow along, this is one of the ones that you have. You can see that there are some highlights right there. So these are sort of the highlights of someone's face right here. And then you also, I'll make that a highlight so you can see that. Then you also have some shadows. So we got some natural shadows there, there, a little bit right there as well, right there, a little bit over here. And these are things that we can kind of enhance to make someone's face a little bit, I guess, a little bit more better. Some people might say this is definitely more of like a model style type of edit, not something that I often do with my photos, but I want to teach you more sort of that stylistic type editing so that you know how to do it. So first let's do go ahead with the shadows. So I'm going to go ahead, create a new brush. We are going to make the exposure not that low, but we're going to just drop the overall exposure just a little bit, drop the shadows just a little bit like so. We're also going to decrease the clarity just a little bit, just to soften it up. Now for this brush, we're going to turn our flow down really low because with the flow, it basically allows us to paint over and over in strokes to make it darker and darker as we go on. And so we want it to be very feathered, so make sure the feathering is up. And now we can kind of just paint on. So you can see that not much happens, but if I continue to paint on, especially to these shadows over time, it's going to start to work. I'll paint over here. This cheek is the is really the big one that I'm working with. Now you want to go back and forth, adjusting the size of your brush over time to get a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, to kind of add on this effect going from small to big. Now, whoops, I don't want to do that. All right, so now we have our sort of brush selected. Looking pretty good. We can also go down here on the neck as well. So I'm gonna turn off my mask overlay, turn this on and off. Very, very subtle. You can boost this a little bit more, bringing down our shadows, bringing down our blacks, bringing down our overall exposure. Subtlety is the key here. Turn up flow just a little bit. Just making those cheeks a little bit more pronounced. Okay, so if I turn this on and off, you can probably start to see what's actually happening. Now we're gonna do basically the same thing with the highlights. So I'm gonna click new to create a new brush. I'm going to actually increase the highlights. Clarity is going to still be down. I'm going to decrease the flow again. And now I'm just going to paint over the highlights. Again, changing brush strokes. So we start with something a little bit smaller. Then we move up a little bit. Okay, so if we turn this on and off, you might be able to see a little bit happening. Again, we might need to play with our settings just a little bit. Boosting the exposure. All right, so you can start to see things getting a little bit more of that style. Turn on and off, on, off, a little bit more defined. So the cool thing is now we can actually save these brushes as presets. So you have all your settings that you like. We've got our exposure, our clarities drop down. So we can go down and create this new brush. So if we click effect, 
save current settings as new preset. We can call this face highlights. And then we can go to the other brush and we can call it face shadows. Whatever you want, because now we can go back and find that specific one. One thing you might also play around with doing is with the shadows, you might want to drop the temperature just a little bit because in shadows, things are a little bit bluer. In highlights, things are typically a little bit warmer. If you want the effect to be doubled, if say you're like, okay, I like this, but we want to take it to the extreme. One thing you can do with these brushes or these adjustments is just right click and actually duplicate it. Now, when we duplicate it, it gets a little bit too extreme. So I'm actually going to bring up the exposure and the shadows of that duplicate. Let's do the same thing for the highlights. And when we do that again, it's a little bit extreme. So I'm going to bring back down our exposure of this second one. All right, but now if we turn on and off, you can start to see that the contour of her, sh her face is getting really, really defined. Now, the last thing I'm gonna say about cheeks is if you want to give her a little bit of blush or a little color, I'm going to create a new brush. We're gonna make it really soft, but really big. We're going to add some color. So starting with just sort of a rosy magenta, we're just gonna paint over just over kind of like the top of the cheekbone, like so. We can also give more color this way by picking color over here, something like a pink, Maybe a little less saturated. And again, the key is to be subtle. And that's with your flow down. So if we turn this all on and off, you can see that we've given a little bit more color to her cheeks. Let's zoom in here so you can really see on off. But with the flow being so far down, we are not completely manipulating her cheek or the shadows. It still looks natural, especially when you zoom in. All right, so here's the before and after of just a little bit of face contouring with our brushes looks a lot different. Definitely more of that sort of model style, something that you might or might not like for your own portraits. But I wanted to show you this because this is something that the pros are doing when they're editing photos that especially ended up on magazine covers and things like that. Awesome. I hope you have a great day. Enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in another one.